The Liberal Party of the Philippines Filipino, Partido Liberal ng Pilipinas or LP is a liberal political party in the Philippines, founded by then Senator Senate President Manuel Roxas, Senate President Pro Tempore Elpidio Quirino, and former 9th Senatorial District Senator Jose Avellino, on January 19, 1946 by a breakaway liberal wing from the old Nacionalista Party. It was the ruling party from 2010 to 2016 after the election victory of Benigno Aquino III as the President of the Philippines. Today, the Liberals are the opposition and maintain at least six seats in the Senate, and at least 27 of seats in the House of Representatives. Around 50% of governors, 50% of vice-governors, and 33% of board members are also Liberals. The Liberal Party is the second oldest extant political party in the Philippines in terms of date of establishment, and the oldest continually active political party in the Philippines. The party has been led by respected liberal thinkers and pro-development politicians like Manuel Roxas, Elpidio Quirino, Diosdado Macapagal, Jerry Roxas, Benigno Aquino Jr., Jovito Salonga, Raul Daza, Florencio B. Abad Jr., Franklin Drilon, Mar Roxas, and Benigno Aquino III. Two of its members, Corazon Aquino and Leila de Lima, have received the prestigious Prize for Freedom, the highest international award for liberal and democratic politicians since 1985. History Topic: 1946–1972, Third Republic The Liberal Party was founded on January 19, 1946 by Manuel Roxas, the first president of the Third Philippine Republic. It was formed by Roxas from what was once the «liberal wing» of the old Nationalista Party. Two more presidents of the Philippines elected into office came from the LP, Elpidio Quirino and the redoubtable Diosdado Macapagal. Two other presidents came from the ranks of the LP, as former members of the party who later chose to follow a different path by joining the Nationalistas, Ramon Magsaysay and Ferdinand Marcos. Topic: 1972 to 1986, Martial Law Era. During the days leading to his declaration of martial law, Marcos would find his old party as a potent roadblock to his quest for one-man rule. Led by Ninoy Aquino, Jerry Roxas and Jovito Salonga, the LP would time and again hound President Marcos on issues like human rights and the curtailment of freedoms. Not even Marcos' declaration of martial law silenced the LP, and the party continued to fight the dictatorship despite the costs. Many of its leaders and members would be prosecuted and even killed during this time. 1986–2010, post-EDSA In recent times, the LP was instrumental in ending more than half a century of U.S. military presence in the Philippines with its campaign in the Philippine Senate of 1991 to reject a new RP-U.S. basis treaty. This ironically cost the party dearly, losing for it the elections of 1992. Despite the loss, in 2000 it again showed its mettle by standing against the corruption of the Joseph Estrada government, actively supporting the resign impeach oust initiatives that led to People Power II. In 2006, the Philippines' ruling political party, Lacas CMD, with President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo serving as its supremo, was influential in hijacking. The Liberal Party by way of overthrowing the party presidency of Senator Franklin Drilon at a rump party meeting at the Manila Hotel. With the marching orders and blessing of Lacas, LP members sympathetic to the Arroyo government used the meeting on March 2 to install Manila Mayor Lito Atienza as the party president, thus triggering an LP leadership struggle and party schism. Days later, the Supreme Court proclaimed Drilon the true president of the party, leaving the Atienza wing expelled. 2010–2016, the Benigno Aquino III administration The Liberal Party regained new influence in 2010 when it nominated as its next presidential candidate then-Senator Benigno Aquino III, the son of former President Corazon Aquino, after the latter's death that subsequently showed a massive outpouring of sympathy for the Aquino family. 
even though the party had earlier nominated Senator Manuel Mar Roxas II to be its presidential candidate for the 2010 Philippine general election, Roxas chose to give way to Aquino and ran for vice president instead. During the fierce campaign battle that followed, the party was able to field new members breaking away from the then ruling party Lacas Campi CMD to become the largest minority party in Congress. Topic: 2016 present. In 2016 presidential elections, Liberal Party nominated Mar Roxas, former DOTC and DILG secretary and Lenny Robredo, a representative from Naga City and widow of former DILG secretary Jesse Robredo. The latter won and the former lost. Most of their members either switched allegiance to PDP Laban, joined a supermajority alliance but retained LP membership with some defected later, joined minority, or created an opposition bloc called Magnificent Seven. As early as February, 2017, the leaders of the Liberal Party of the Philippines chose to focus on rebuilding the party by inviting sectoral membership of non-politicians. The party has been inducting new members who are non-politicians since then, some of whom applied online through the party's website, liberal.ph. Before the scheduled 2019 general elections, the LP formed the Oposisayan Koalisayan Opposition Coalition or OK, an electoral coalition led by the party that also comprises members of the Magdalo Party List, Akbayan Citizens Action Party, and Akasan Democratico along with independent candidates. The coalition hopes to drive a new political culture based on political leaders' practicing makiking, matuto, kumilos. Listen, learn, take action, each candidate emphasizing the need for government to listen to its citizens. As part of the Liberal Party's efforts to instill this new political culture, it launched Project Mackening in October 2018, a modern, nationwide listening campaign using technology and driven by volunteers. It aims to find out what are important to Filipinos, the basis for the messaging, strategy, and platform of the coalition. Ideology The party currently espouses liberalism as its main ideology. According to its values charter, the self-described values of the party are freedom, justice and solidarity by Anihan. Historically, the party's ideology during its early years was noted by some political observers to be similar to or intelligible from the Nationalista party, until the term of Ferdinand Marcos, where it became more liberal. Current party officials Chairman Emeritus, former President Benigno Aquino III Chairperson, Vice President Maria Leonor G. Robredo Vice Chair, Senator Franklin Drilon President, Senator Francis Pangilinan Vice President for Internal Affairs, Representative Teddy Bagilaw, Lone District of Ifugao, 2017 present. Vice President for External Affairs, Former Representative Lorenzo Tanyada III, Quezon, 2017 present. Secretary General, Representative Jose Christopher Kit Belmonte, Quezon City, 2016 present. Treasurer, Representative Josephine Ramirez Sato, Occidental Mindoro, 2017 present. Topic Presidents Topic Electoral Performance Topic President Topic Vice President Topic Senate Asterisk in coalition with PDP Laban. Topic House of Representatives. Asterisk does not include candidates who ran as under a Liberal Party ticket along with another party. Asterisk Asterisk in coalition with PDP Laban. 
Topic: Notable members. Topic: Philippine presidents. Manuel Roxas, fifth president of the Philippines, one of the co-founders. Elpidio Quirino, sixth president of the Philippines. Diosdado Macapagal, ninth president of the Philippines. Ferdinand Marcos, tenth president of the Philippines. Marcos won in 1965 as the candidate of the Liberal Party's rival Nacionalista Party, the party to where Marcos defected after failing to get the LP nomination. Benigno Aquino III, 15th president of the Philippines. Topic others Gerardo Roxas Sr. Senator, Liberal Party leader during the Marcos dictatorship Macario Peralta Jr. World War II hero, Philippine Army General, Senator of the Philippines, Secretary of National Defense Cesar Climaco, Mayor of Zamboanga City, vocal critic and opponent of martial law Benigno Aquino Jr. Senator of the Philippines Eva Estrada Cala Senator of the Philippines Eddie Allard Senator of the Philippines Ramon Mitra Jr. 16th Speaker of the Philippine House of Representatives Representatives Narciso Ramos, Philippine Secretary of Foreign Affairs, one of the co-founders Ramon Bagatsing, longest-serving mayor of Manila, Plaza Miranda bombing survivor Emmanuel Pelaez, Vice President of the Philippines, Philippine Secretary of Foreign Affairs, Philippine Ambassador to the United States of America, Senator of the Philippines Rashid Lukman, Congressman of Lanao del Sur, exposed the Jabita massacre and other Marcos abuses in Congress Jovito Salonga, former Senate President of the Philippines, survived the Plaza Miranda bombing Manuel Roxas II, former Interior and Local Government Secretary and Transportation Secretary Feliciano Belmonte Jr., former Speaker of the Philippine House of Representatives Jesse Robredo, former Mayor of Naga City and former Interior and Local Government Secretary Lenny Robredo, 14th Vice President of the Philippines, former Representative of Camarines Sur, wife of former DILG Secretary Jesse Robredo and Party Chairman in Naga City Herbert Bautista Incumbent Mayor of Quezon City, Alfredo Lim, former Senator and Mayor of Manila, Rafael Nant, former Governor of Quezon Province and former Treasurer of the Liberal Party, Evelyn Fuentebella, Mayor of Sagni, Camarines Sur and member of the Liberal Party, Cornelio Villarreal, former Speaker of the House of Representatives and Congressman of the 2nd District of Capiz, Sergio H. Loyola, Congressman of the 3rd District of Manila. Topic Coalition Akbayan Citizens Action Party – Party List Kapayapan, Conlaran at Katarungan, Manila Kelisong Diwa ng Taguig – Taguig City Uswag Tagum, Davao del Norte Ugian, Iloilo <laughs>